After completion of this video, you will be able to describe the basic navigation and administrative capabilities. This is the main navigation menu. Across the top, you have four tabs for workspaces, where you can access all of service management workspaces. Reports, used to access reports. Manage, used to access administrative functions. And Learn, where you can access training materials. From here, you can navigate to all of cloud service management activities based upon your login credentials. We are logged in now as the service administrator giving us full access to all of the components. Now click on the Workspaces tab. All of the service desk items, such as Ticket Center, Request Catalog, Outstanding Items, Configuration Management, Knowledge Management, Knowledge Center, Global Search, Scratchpad, and Change Calendar are all features of Service Desk. Also under Project is the Project Center. Under Asset Management, is the Asset Center. Under My Workspace is My Board. Under Automation is the Automation Center. And under Service Pulse is the Service View. Let's now look at the Ticket Center. The Ticket Center workspace is where analysts go to manage their queue of tickets. Across the top are badges. These badges allow quick filtering of their queue. Click the Actions dropdown. The Actions button is used in all workspaces to create and save items, as well as set your home workspace, which has already been done here. To quickly and easily return to your set home page, click the Home icon to the left of Workspaces menu item. The options given in the Actions drop-down list are Create Request, Create Incident, Create Change, Create Problem, Create Configuration Item, or create knowledge-based article. Note that all screens have an Actions menu drop-down. Now, click the Reports tab. The Reports tab includes standard reports, ad hoc reports, dashboards, and advanced reporting. Remember, because we are logged in as an administrator, we have access to all of these reports. Now, click the Manage tab. The Manage tab are the administrative functions and components. Select Tools to drop the Tools menu down. Here is a listing of all the tools that are available in Cloud Service Management. You are able to sort and query on those tools that would be applicable to Asset Management. Also, the tools that would be applicable to Service Desk. And those that would be common between the Asset Management and Service Desk would be in the Common. Click the All tab. Now, search for a particular tool using the search menu on the right of the screen. Type User to search for all management functions pertaining to users and press Enter. Here is where you can create and manage users. Now click the last tab on the right, Learn. You can access a number of different documentation items such as the Getting Started Help, the Documentation Wiki, our product community, and the Flipboard cookbook. Now that you have completed this video, you should be able to describe the basic navigation and administration capabilities.